All right, so what's up positive people? You got Danny here and I'm coming to you with a different vlog. A lot of people like bitch and moan about living in expensive cities, but like what I've come to realize five years deep is that you come up with like your setup for how you can live the way you wanna live by making certain concessions. And I don't even know if this is necessarily a concession, but I feel like this is the sort of stuff that I probably should be talking more about on my channel because a lot of people don't realize that they could shave a lot of money off their bills if they just were a little more crafty with how they do things at home. So I don't know if y'all know this, but I live in a one bedroom, 665 square foot apartment in Seattle. That's not a lot of space. So on top of like being really careful about what I bring into my home, you know what I'm saying? I have to be mindful of the amount of space that I use and where I live and for what I'm paying. It's really expensive. Like, you know, a big chunk of my money goes to rent or whatever. So I've found so many different ways to shave off money. In particular, the one of the biggest things when I first moved into this apartment complex was the fact that none of the units have washer and dryers or a washer and dryer hookup and in order to do laundry in my complex you have to use a laundry room the laundry room in my complex is effing disgusting it's always been disgusting from the time i've lived here i think now it's to the point where there was actually a situation funny story there was actually a situation where there was a homeless man living in the laundry room i was going down there to get clothes um from the washer to the dryer. Keep in mind at this time I was paying $2.50 to wash, $2.75 to dry. So you do the math, okay? That's a lot of money. <laughs> you know, over time that's a lot of money and most people wash their clothes, what, like once a week? So it, that's a lot of money, that adds up. That's hundreds of dollars a year. And there was one time where I was going down there to do laundry and a homeless man literally had his whole life plugged up, little, you know, notebook, Chromebook, probably was stealing somebody's Wi-Fi, had his phone charged up and he literally pushed the door back on me like, I'm changing. And I'm sitting up here like, I'm paying rent here. What the hell is going on? Well, needless to say now, our laundry room's under lock and key. I'm guessing other people complained about it. I didn't care. I'm one of those tenants that kind of just minds their business and does their own thing and like I said because I'm paying what I'm paying which is like below average rent for where I stay and I love where I stay I just kind of grit and bear it and have made you know whatever adjustments I need to make one of those adjustments was after all that happened I invested in a portable washing machine if you're curious about what model this is this is a uh, a Costway giant Tex portable washing machine I believe it's 17.9 pounds like that's the capacity on the washer and then it also has a spinner that i think is about eight or nine pounds i have already had this officially over a year i think it cost me 124 dollars i forget how much it was with tax but tax is 10 percent. so you do the math i got it off amazon over a year ago and i can safely say that i've gotten my money's worth out of this thing now i don't have a dryer which obviously means that I have to allow everything to air dry. So I'm not washing like heavy jackets in here. I'm not washing comforters in here. But thin sheets, cotton clothing, denim, um, all of that stuff washes perfectly fine in here. What I found is and what I usually do is do very small loads on things that are heavier duty. So like denim, I'll do like three pairs of pants, you know, maybe a bucket or two of water and you know some borax with laundry detergent and it gets the job done nobody knows that i have not used a washing machine over a year like it it really comes down to making sure that you're using you know good detergent and that your clothes aren't cheap uh, you know what i'm saying like forever 21 clothes all those sorts of clothes they get torn up regardless of the sort of washer and dryer you use but it's something that I never talk about and I mean I've shown this thing in vlogs before but it's one of my favorite purchases that I've ever made like I'm, I'm very frugal I, I pride myself on being really frugal and this has been like one of the major ways that I have shaved money off so yeah I'm gonna show y'all how this thing works real quick I always use Arm & Hammer Tide breaks me out I also like Gain when Gain's on sale I get it um, I've already put in here one pair of pants and a black shirt and then I also have some other shirts so usually what I do is I do it like by category but I only have one pair of like jegging style pants to wash so I'm actually going to wash it with my tees um, 
and I know for some people this is like that gets monotonous like you're probably wasting so much water but what you don't understand is when your washing machine is going you're, you're wasting way more water because it cycles through that and doesn't recycle the water so this load is going to be one pair of jeans one two three four five shirts not a lot um and then as far as like detergent and I believe I still have this bad boy left over and that's another thing buying your damn detergent in bulk I don't understand these people that keep like a small little container of detergent and then you go oh well that's cheaper how is it cheaper if that little detergent only lasts you you know what I'm saying a week and you're back at the store buying another thing of detergent when this probably lasts me about a month you know what I'm saying so again you know buy in bulk Get your laundry in bulk they didn't have this at the store because everybody's panic buying so i had to get this instead but actually i think this technically is like cheaper you know by the ounce or whatever the hell that's another thing make sure you're buying by the ounce by the pound by the gram okay so yeah this is how much detergent is going to be going in there not even this um so what we do is i get it going throw a little detergent in there and then I'm actually going to add a bit more water too because getting the clothes agitated is what's going to do the work all right if you're curious about how long the load's going to go for it has um 15 minute cycles so if you're on it you can get a lot done as you do you know your dark clothes you wash in cold water if you have stains you know what I'm saying wash them in cold water so the stains don't set yada 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 these are the other things that I have to wash down here you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna get through all that stuff it's not a lot of stuff but I say all of that to say that like that's one of the ways that I have saved myself a lot of money like what I've probably paid for that washing machine probably paid for itself in a couple months of laundry because, okay, let's do some quick math here, right? So we're looking at about, what, 525 for every load of laundry that I did in the laundry room, right? Let's say that I was doing, between Marley and myself, four to six loads of laundry every week. We're already looking at about 525 times six over thirty dollars a week times that by four that's 120 a month give or take times that by 12 we're looking at like over a thousand like fifteen hundred dollars for laundry like landlords make a killing <laughs> on laundry fees and i just didn't want to be a part of that anymore <laughs> you know what i'm saying also too there was the hassle of having to go and get quarters there's only one place in, in my city where you can go and get quarters on the regular no problem besides a grocery store and that's at a damn laundromat. So I would have to go and drive to my local laundromat and change out 20s so I could have quarters to go into the machines because my landlord doesn't have like machines to take cards. One month or even if we wanted to be generous, two months of laundry paid for my washing machine. So the only thing that I don't like obviously about it you know I've been talking it up straight up pros right the only cons that I would say with my setup is that obviously if you want to wash something quickly like let's say you want to you know get an outfit clean for the day you know obviously I need the time to allow for things to dry which is why I primarily do my laundry overnight or on the weekends there are portable dryers out there that you can buy but you also have to vent them in the same way that you vent like an air conditioner and that requires you to like put up a board and do all this stuff and I've just found that air drying the stuff has never you know been an issue obviously you have to do a really good job of keeping um, your house you know properly ventilated because you can also cause yourself to have more mold because you're drying moist things in your house there is this thought in my mind especially now that I've had the washer over a year to get an air dryer which are like these little kind of tent things that you can break down when you don't use them which would like kind of speed the drying process but keep in mind spinning the clothes keeps them like damp i'd say on like white tees you can get them like 
almost to like 85 percent dry and especially during the summertime like light cotton tees you wash those spin those put those out in uh, you know what i'm saying in front of a sunny window and they're dry in 30 minutes so it's it's worked for me over a year now everything from sheets you name it the only thing that i obviously can't wash in there are like big comforters and all of that stuff and if i needed to do that you know that's the dry cleaners or the laundromat at this point i just don't even fool my laundry room but i wanted to kind of switch the content up and give y'all something else i've talked about the portable washing machine like in passing a lot of different times but i've never actually like told y'all you know my thoughts my feelings and concerns also too just a couple things for anybody who would be interested in getting a portable washing machine you do have to maintain them you do have to keep them clean um usually what i do is after i'm done washing all the clothes i just do a cycle a rinse cycle with um bleach and then i let that drain through like hot water and bleach that way it drains through the pipe it gets any gunk out of the pipe and then um there is a lint catch and uh you know same thing i try and like wash that with bleach to get all the lint out if you are somebody who gets your clothes heavily soiled so like maybe you work a job where you get crazy dirty whether you're working in like a kitchen or whatever um i don't really know if my model would be the best model they do make higher end portable washing machines and there's a thought in my mind that when my washing machine decides to finally kick the bucket that i'll upgrade to one of those fancier portable washing machines but if i end up stuck in my apartment for however long like I said I know that it saved me a lot of money like a lot of the times like like I said people complain about how expensive it is and it's just like what are you doing to fix it you know what I'm saying so I think um I want to start a series of these on like the different ways you can kind of save and shave off your bills um let me know if you have any questions about the washing machine, if you'd like me to do a part two where I talk about the specs or whatever the case is. Like I said, I've had it a year and I didn't want to say anything about my washing machine until I had it a year because I didn't want a situation where I raved about it and then it broke down on me after a month. Like I honestly can say I got my money's worth out of it because again, it was like 120 in tax, 125 in tax and that's what I probably would have spent over a month or two doing my laundry in the laundry room so I've already got my money back on it um I love it it's not for everybody you know what I'm saying there are a lot of people that are just like Ugh, I don't want to deal with that I don't want to sit nothing in my bathroom tub or whatever I don't want to you know what I'm saying it's not for everybody but <laughs> I'm from the hood man we we make it work we figure it out and again I've got just these like bigger dreams to where it's like whatever I can do to shave so that you know what I'm saying later on down the line I can live the life I want to live I'm willing to do so and it's not that big of an inconvenience like when I'm done with it I tuck it away in my bathroom there's like a little separate closet area that I tuck it away in it doesn't take up a ton of space super lightweight I can pick it up I don't know I like it you know what I'm saying so yeah let me know how you feel down in the comment section below for the people that were expecting a reaction video today, I'm going to make one, but I'm going to post it over to the Envied Life channel. I'm also going to move the one that I did last week over to that channel as well. And moving forward, that's where those will be. I think I just want to keep this channel a vlog channel. The people have spoken. They like the vlogs. They just like to hear me talk. And I'm cool with that. And the separation will be nice. So, yeah. Till later, till later, till later. Peace, positive people.